This is the very star that I was forced to wear. It was just another way to denigrate us and to isolate us and to set us apart from the rest of society. You're looking at someone that was condemned to death 10 times, three times in Auschwitz alone. My family was also selected to die. As we were beaten with metal pipes, forcing us to run faster to the slaughter pits, ready to die, mindset to die, as the bullets were getting louder and louder. The next morning when I woke up, I had no more parents. I was an orphan overnight. We as children saw things that no one, no matter what the age, should ever have to see. We marched for two weeks. There was no food, no drink. Usually they kept us out of sight of the German population. And they did the killing right in front of us. And they were doing it with a smile. Does the world know what's going on here? Do they know what they're doing to millions of people? In this time, intelligent people. But you know, I gave up the idea immediately and I said, no, they don't care. Compared the Nazis to Boris, I compared their anonymous letters to cyberbullying, to the gangs that the Nazis had, to the gangs that we have here on Long Island. I started to compare them to things that made sense to the students. God puts us on this earth, gives us a beautiful mind, which allows us to choose right from wrong, good from evil. It allows us to make choices. Each and every one of us must do everything in our power to prevent such hatred, such horror from ever happening again. And we can begin by having love, respect, and tolerance towards one another, regardless of the religious belief color of our skin or national origin. And this respect towards one another must begin in our homes. We must treat people as individuals, look for similarities and respect the differences. Let us build bridges and reach out to one another. Long Island is becoming more and more diverse. We all have to learn to live with people from different cultures and ethnic groups, different religions, and from different parts of the world basic part of our mission is to help foster that sense of community and understanding and to encourage young people and adults to speak up and get involved when they see something bad happening. The mission of the Holocaust Memorial and Tolerance Center of Nassau County is to teach the history of the Holocaust and its lessons through education and community outreach. We teach about the dangers of anti-Semitism, racism, bullying, and all other manifestations of intolerance. We promote resistance to prejudice and advocate respect for every human being.